Thursday morning. Just came off of a uh, nine hour ride doing New York City yesterday with George. Did like 40 some miles. So I woke up and uh, I just had to get out. Had to get back to that, get back to that state of mind of just being someplace nice. So I'm heading over to the water and we all know where that is, the Corte. Nine o'clock. Nice if I can make this gate, car just opens it for me. Nice. Passing through King's Court. Oh, what another perfect day. Couldn't let one of these go by. Couldn't let this one go by. My neck is sore from yesterday carrying the camera on my head. Yep. Neck is sore from carrying the camera on my head for nine hours. <laughs> It's going to shoot up Valley Brook. I think my full, well, I know my full suspension bike is ready. So I'm going to maybe pick that up later. Probably going to rain tomorrow, so I'll take a rest day, go to the gym. And I'll see what's in store for Saturday. Go, go out on the trail with the full suspension. over here. I just love mornings. I try to get out of bed, you know, at least by 7. I would actually like to start getting up at 6. This morning I was tired. Yesterday was a long day. I don't think I did that many miles on a mountain bike. Excuse me, George had 45, I had 40. I don't know what happened there either. GoPro stop recording. All right, I took a different way over. I, I didn't go up Valley Brook. I started and then I turned over. Forget what the road it was. And then I'm cutting across park or lake. Lake. I think it's gonna take me up to where I wanna be. That's going to be Ridge Road up there. Let's see. Maybe not. It can't be Stuyvesant. Did I do that much of an outside loop? Oh, it's Ridge. Yep. GoPro stop recording. I'm going to check out the cemetery loop. I wonder if there's a back way to get out where I want to go. Let's see.
there's an entrance to the right. Let's go around to the left. See if there's something up in the back where we can get out. Because the other big cemetery off of Sky, uh, Skyler, I guess the uh, North Arlen or the Lynnhurst one. Wow, this is a great view up here. Alright, so that's the dead end there. I think it's up here. Nothing to my left. Let's see what's up here. Good morning. Oh, good morning. Scared me. Oh, that's sorry. I, I didn't mean to. <laughs> This one looks like there's going to be a way out to where I wanted to go, so. Alright, so I'm going to try and find my way into the uh, entrance over here. For the trail I love. I see is it this one. I'm trying to figure out where it is right now. I think it's up one more. It's up one more. Up one more. I think so. Actually, let me, let me try in here. Let me try in here. That's the trail right there. Where do these trees grow fast? Where do those bushes grow fast? Yeah, this all grows up quickly out here, huh? I guess I'm not riding here enough to keep it packed down to get my butt back here more. Let me just take a peek here. Right, so we know which way I go. Yeah, I guess there's gonna be nothing because I can't get across because of the water. All right, we know that. GoPro, stop recording. I'm trying the path that parallels the one I normally go on. I was here before, I forget what happens at the end. This way I don't have to backtrack and then, you know. Let's just see what's up here a little bit. As we remember, this, this trail goes for about a mile. Now it looks like it'll continue right down to Disposal Road, but let's see. I, I, know, I did it last time and I forget. Or maybe I did it and I just like the trail to the right. But this is definitely a, an, a, an additional option. My neck was feeling really bad when I got on the bike from carrying that camera on my head for nine hours yesterday. It's feeling better already. This bike really puts me over in an extreme position, you know, for a mountain bike, but I guess that's how cross country is. 
I can see it in the videos George took yesterday. What a day. Couldn't let it get by. Couldn't let it pass me up. We had two like this this last week, or three last week. All right, so this is where the fence was. So let's see what, let's see what I had to do here. I think there was a funky, just a, oh, the gate open. My Lord, the gate is open. The gate is open to get through. Oh, heaven, heaven. That was the key to the whole ride, why I didn't like, you know, this the whole path here. He was having to go around in the woods and that, because there's a way to get around it, just it was kooky. All right. And so it looks like there's something over to the left. Have I ever been over there? Well, actually, it doesn't look like there's something over to the left. All right. Well, actually, it does look like there's something over to the left. Let's take a little peek. I'm not gonna get, yep, nope, it's too, too grown up. I'm not gonna get crazy trying to create new things today. And to the right there, nope, that'll just go out to the factory. So let's go back on track where I was. There's a lot of, it's almost like sand under this, you know, under these weeds. I guess just a white pebbly rock, all right. But it appears like a sand surface. Right here, you can see it really well. GoPro stop recording. Another glimpse of the same trail I'm on. Yeah, I see all the workers over way, I see all the trucks way up to the left there. Oh, you listen to noise, clearing land. All right, so I always question what that is ahead of me. The buildings are so damn tall, that has to be New York City, has to be. Yeah, this is fun compared to the trail to the right. It's actually probably be my preferred way because I don't have to do all that backtracking. Can't wait to get my gravel bike though. We're getting into July. Hopefully it's going to be coming out soon. Here's the gate for uh, Disposal Road. GoPro stop recording. Continued on that same road, across Disposal Road. Up there, you can't see it, but I can, is the turnpike. So I'm gonna do my long two mile loop over to the left. Go down here, uh, it's a real rocky section, at the inner four way intersection up here. I right, get out here and I just, you know, <laughs> I keep thinking I'm gonna come out here and just sit down and relax, but this is just so much more fun. Somehow I have, I don't know if I have energy, but I feel okay today. Now I'm on the Rocky Loop Trail. The two mile uh, loop to my left when I get up here a ways. I see at the train tracks, so we're gonna go up there, see if the gate is open so I can get in that way and do the loop. So nice early in the morning. And then I'll get over to where the uh, water is. See what I feel like doing over there, just the sound of the birds. I guess I can even hear them. You can even hear them right here. Not as much though. They have all those bird houses and places for them over by the main center. 
I guess they just fluctuate over there. Just got off the Rocky Trail to the railroad tracks, made my left, and the gates open today. Boy, I don't know what all this is about. One of these times I'm gonna run into somebody back here. But that's okay. Turnpike to my left again. Route 3, Route 17 to the right. Guess I'm heading south, it looks like. And the rocky path is to my left. And a little ways up here is where you can jump over. You know, if the gate was if the gate was closed, like anywhere in here, like right there, I think is a good spot. Almost looks like an opening through the weeds. Don't know why it's just so much fun coming up here. The videos we took yesterday, in New York City, with the bright sunshine. I oh, I have the I have the same view on today. I forgot the uh, horizon. Uh, that's why the camera was a little bit different. I had to change the angle. Ah, but I did. So the horizon, uh, the horizon view with the leveling. So if I twist sideways or the camera turns, what you see straight ahead remains perfectly straight. And it's plenty wide, you know, unless you're doing the trail, I don't know. Everybody has their own uh, preference. But yesterday it was perfect. And I had the camera on my head because I forgot my chest strap. And it actually worked out really good for, you know, for George. As long as there was somebody in front of me, but when, when you can't see my handlebars and me steering, it kind of takes you away from the action. I think it's more fun like that, but. So, amazing uh, colors yesterday. And when we got to Central Park, or even some of the spots where we're riding on the rock, you know, the, the rock slabs, it was just amazing the view. And even when I was standing, just looking around, the angle of the camera was perfect to you know, film anybody I was looking at. So we, I got some great stuff at George. I thought I was gonna get like, you know, so we got one, two, let's see, we have an hour and a half. I think it's like two hours of video we'll have. I have an hour and a half up already. Part three, you start seeing the rocks. The very, as soon as the first mile, when we went out, we found the little rocky park along Hudson Terrace there. The New York was kind of quiet. It seemed like everybody was not, there were so many people not working. We found that, you know, that, that something island. It was, I think it's just something island. That beautiful park, that, you know, $10 billion park they built along the, uh, the Greenway on the east, on the west side, you know, on the New Jersey side. Awesome. It's free to go in there, you just have to make reservations. The thing is, I wouldn't be able to lock a bike up and would I go over there, you know, just for that. We tried to go on the High Line, which I've never been, but you can't take bikes up there as well. So, maybe one of these days, if somebody wants to go, take the bus over or get over there somehow and you know, look at those things I haven't seen them ah it is so nice over here <laughs> so nice all around this marshland yeah so Lynnhurst you know the complex medieval times that we use that as a reference Kind of to the left ish up there. And just do three way up there to the left. Yep. I see the hotels. Do three with 17. Alright, here I am to the end of the trail. And this gate is open. I guess it was for that car that was back there. 
So we're just gonna do our loopy turn around here and head back. Nothing out there. Nothing out there for me. six degrees but I know my Garmin reads a little bit high and that's right in the sunshine but the dew point is like in the 40s it's great crazy low you know so that means the humidity is just like zero just about way down there dry very dry I have to get over to Liberty State Park. I haven't been over there in a long time in Jersey City. Never been there on the mountain bike. I don't think so. I never had one back years ago. I kind of almost remember being there on a bicycle. I'm trying to think, what did I bring over there? I remember I had my Elantra. I think it was new. I'm going back many years. It might not have been working. And I went over there. This is just so cool because you know the lower Manhattan is like right in front of you and you see a real nice section of the beautiful buildings. Yeah, so up to the right there, those are those nice townhomes right behind the Lynnhurst uh, complex on the, on the uh, marks there. George, I have to get you over here. You know, so, well then we can, you know, we can hit the Lynnhurst Recreational, but I like to get you on all these trails just for the fun of it. I know there's really no features out here. Just fun riding. Fun riding. Just finishing up over here. The uh, truck that was back there was gone. The gate's still open. So we continue around here. Go to the right when we get up there. And you go down the rocky trail. There's the tracks on the other side there, on those barriers, train tracks. And there's the trail right here. Keep making the hard right. Now hit the rocks. And the rocks. Turn bike to my left. If you can hear it, you probably can. A lot of rocks here. Yeah, I guess it's I guess it's pretty rocky down here. For a gravel bike, it'd be real tough unless you're skilled. Can we get that great? It's always scare me.
then when I go move along like I am, it's, it's, the rocks seem even rockier, don't they? Finished the Rocky Trail, going under the New Jersey Turnpike right here. Gonna head down to the Out and Back Trail here. Take a look at the water. Look across at the Middle Lanes Parkway. What a day. What a day. Too bad somebody couldn't be sharing this with me. Just keep the camera on a little bit till we get to the water. We've all seen this a bunch of times. Can you hear the birds? There's so many different ones out here. up here <clears throat> see the water up there okay, so that metal that little shack with this with the uh, spat whatever on it that stack on that pipe sticking out when I was on the other side of the water over at the Seacrofters Park so I could see that and I could recognize where this is let's get up here and see if I can recognize <laughs> what's over there just do a little turn around loopy like I always do. Come up here like this. Hmm. Make a quick peek at the water. All right, so let's get over here and see what we see. I don't know how, how good the angle is, but all right, so I remember seeing the bridge. Let's see what I can see out here. So those, one of those is the Meadowlands Hospital. That's the Meadowlands Parkway over there. I know up in that direction, you know, by the sports, uh, the sports arena, which I can't see from here. Maybe like the barge, you know, the barge, the river barge. I think that's what it was called. I don't think we can see that from here. But over there, right, so remember, that's, that's not the Pulaski Skyway. You can't see up there. Well, there's the bridge beyond that. I, that's the New Jersey extension that goes over to the Holland, the Lincoln Tunnel. So, somehow straight, straight across there is where the Sea Caucus Park was. I just can't. If I were to see people, I should have brought the damn binoculars. I'm going to do that next time. Jeez, bring the binoculars on the bike ride. Yeah, great day. All right, GoPro, stop recording. So I found some uh, dried up hay, it looks like, or with the stalks from the uh, marsh. Place to sit down here. Just looking around. Uh, peaceful. Peaceful. Ah. <sighs> What a day. I think I'll even take my helmet off. I think I put the camera on for a minute. Ah, uh, so nice. Uh, the bugs aren't too bad. I put some spray on. I didn't bring, I didn't bring it with me. But, mm. Stretch my neck out a little bit, my back. Uh, this is it, this is the life. As you can see, I made my way over to the Corte. Nice and quiet over here. Took a long rest at that, the, the dead end trail, the out and back, I call it. Took a long rest, looking at the water, just relaxing. 
so nice over here. That's what I want to do when I get over here, sit down and enjoy. Hello, good morning. Listen to the birds, they're taking off in and out of the water all the time. It's just awesome over here. Now right, we got these tight bricks. It's gonna ride a little slower today. We're gonna to barrel through here. We're gonna try and do them a little bit slower. I know they're bumpy. Yeah, a little bit bumpy at times. Right through here is the trickiest part. You want to hang on right in here? It's the trickiest. Yes, <laughs> that's tricky because there's a there's a there's big con big consequences if you go down there, right? And this part there's no because if I come to a stop, there's no way to me. It's too dangerous. Yeah, but this is because they're they're skinny, but they're bumping you. So besides being skinny, the bumping is trying to make you go sideways. So it's a big challenge. For thank you, yes, thank you. <laughs> Have a nice day. Yeah, I was getting a little bit shaky there on that. I got through it, but I was getting a little bit shaky. So I was trying to work the knees a little more. I gotta remember to lean my torso down a little bit. Any way to get your center of gravity a little bit lower kind of just puts things back into perspective. But that was a little bit shaky in there. But yep, we're getting, I think we're getting a little more graceful on things. Okay, GoPro, stop recording. Now I made it through, I don't know what to call this section. I had to go through the gate. It's right across the street from the, the headquarters, New Jersey Sports, you know, uh, exhibition and authority, New Jersey Sports Exhibition Authority. Yeah, I believe that's what it is. It's right across from them. And one side of it, has a way we can get around the gate easy and then the other end which is just close to it you got to walk around bushes and get through <clears throat> so i don't know what to call this this is where i remember that so it, it's paralleling to the right of me is the way i came out when i come through the recreational center you know i have the option of taking two trails like the one i took this morning was the option uh, compared to the one i normally take so this is way to the left of that a little ways. So going in the same direction. And then we get up here, somehow it loops around. And I know up to my left up in there, and again, the first time I came here months ago, I was riding all up in those hills. It's like little just pathways. So have I only been back here one time? I think so. Or, or maybe two times. You know. I did it once after that first time. So let's just see. I'm just looking around again. Just great gravel riding back here. A little bit loose at times, not big rocks like the Rocky Trail. GoPro, stop recording. Sawmill Creek Trail. Always windy out here. Well, not always, but most of the time. This feels extra windy today. Got almost 16 miles in from just riding around all my favorite trails over here. I hit them all today. So we have this section over here. I don't know how the tide's gonna be. And then way up to the right over there, which I guess you can't see, way up to the right in that green with those trees. That's my favorite area. I may venture up over in there and then go back up, you know, up to Belleville Pike in that way. I'm gonna sit down up here for a while and just enjoy it. Hello. Hello. So 
something squeaking up in my front wheel. I have to take a look at that. So Mill Creek Trail. the birds with all this wind. All right, so we're gonna miss that trail. Can't even think of the, can't even think of the name of it right now. I'm so brain dead. I see a bench up there, I believe. I sit down and rest for a little bit. Check my front wheel. Somebody on it. Oh boy. GoPro stop recording. The tide was too high, I couldn't get across the rocks. Uh, there's no way, there's no way I'm trying to figure out how I could do it. Even thought about taking my shoes off and walking in the deep water, but I figured there's a bunch of big rocks I couldn't see. So anyway, I'm gonna find a way to be happy over in here. Hello. Hey. Ah, just makes you feel good out here. Exactly. It does. <laughs> the view. There is the view. You see it over there. Up here. I don't know how much you're seeing in the camera, but there it is. GoPro stop recording. All right, over here at the Corte. Main center. Let's look at some of these little rocks for you, George. Like what we could do up in here on these suckers, if we could do anything. Looked like there was almost a trail you could have went up there over here again, that little bridge. This just goes around. The 
This is another pretty view over here. You can see through here. You see the birdhouses? Can you see the birdhouses along the edge of the water by the bushes? You look all around. GoPro stop recording. George, I just want to show you what we're riding on when we come up here. I'm just going to walk it. So, you know, it's, what do we have? It's probably four, eight, eight or nine inches wide. But they get on a, they're real bumpy. And you can see they're on a slant here, off camber. And look at the, look at the consequences down there, right? It's pretty, uh, pretty damaging. You could really get hurt, full, I mean, really get hurt. And they're just so goddamn bumpy. Well, they're bumpy. And they're raised, right? So up in here, I don't think the off camber really does anything, but you don't want to get caught. So if you get caught in the groove like that, that's what I always question. If the tire went down here, got caught in the groove. Here's not too bad. I don't know if you can't see this, but just wanted to walk it to show you. And then up here it starts to get a little bit better. <clears throat> and that's kind of it. And then down here, you know, it mellows out a bit. So I just wanted to give you a, a quick view of what that's all about. It's like I, when I, I learned to steer with my hips, you know, steer with the saddle, steer with the hips. You can twist your knees. I, I lean forward, I get low, and then my balance seems to get good. And then down here, you're just on the dirt, so it's no big deal. Really windy out here now. GoPro, stop recording. Just riding out on the uh, non-bicycling pier. It's nice and quiet today, so. Yeah, I'm a little bummed that the uh, tide was that up and I couldn't do that trail over there, so I'll just make the best of it. I'm gonna go back to the normal way or somewhat the normal way. Figure out what I wanna do up here. GoPro stop recording. All right, so I'm just gonna finish up on this trail here. The trains go trail. This is the trains go trail. Can't remember any of the trails, right? Yeah, I haven't seen the guys out here go cleaning the, or trimming the grass. I saw them one time last month. Is that rock I go over? So the high tide is nice when you're riding around looking at just the water's real high, but when you can't get over the rocks like I want to, then it's not so good. Nice if I could figure out how to put like some boards down there or a little bridge. This way I could get across just the two rocks and two rocks in an ideal spot. And I could get across, so when I get out there, I can't, these two steps, I can't get 
comfortable with. GoPro, stop recording. <laughs>